Hey there guys, it's Lee here for iMine Blocks. Welcome back to another video of mine. So if you've been staying up to date with some of my recent videos, you'll see that one of them just a short while ago was uh, one where my RX280 uh, uh, basically packed up. Um, I was using it to mine Ethereum for quite some time and then it just died uh, out of the blue. So since that time, I've been looking for some uh, cards to actually replace that. So I've been keeping my eyes open and looking around about for some uh, GPUs to see which ones were the best um, alternatives to replace that particular graphics card. Uh, there's a few different options that I could have sort of gone for and if you would have watched my uh, Polaris update recently you would have seen there's a few different uh, versions that or, or potential opportunities that I could have gone for. Uh, mostly it comes down to either the RX 470 series um, or the RX uh, 480 of those graphics cards and they also come in different memory configurations as well as. Um, so I was kind of keeping my options open and just seeing what was the best price performance and also availability, uh, availability has also been a big issue um, as well as. Uh, getting the RX 480s uh, in the UK has been quite difficult. Uh, the prices have been really quite expensive for the performance uh, that you're going to be receiving from those. So I've been keeping my eyes um, open on that. Um, I was kind of browsing around the internet just a, a day or two ago and um, I found a solution <laughs> to the uh, the problem that I've been having. Uh, so what I've actually found is a card that I think will do the job and I've actually managed to purchase um, two of them because there was a really good price. So the card that I've actually gone for is this one here which is a Sapphire RX uh, 470 and this is actually the 4 uh, gig version. So I'll come on to the details in just a moment. This card here, I'll do an unboxing in just a, a moment. So I decided to go with this one uh, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, so the first and foremost sort of reason is, oh, by the way, I've also got um, two of these. So uh, yeah, I picked up two of them because there was a good price. So the price of these was actually uh, 170 pounds uh, each and that was actually uh, quite a significant discount. Um, on the Polaris video that I've done, the, uh, the eight gigabyte version was 230 pounds. So this is actually uh, 60 pounds uh, cheaper than the eight gig version that I showed in my video just recently. Um, so I thought that was a really good uh, price for the card considering the actual performance. Uh, I'm going to be using it mostly to mine Ethereum and I'm expecting probably I'm going to be getting around about 20 mega hashes per second as a baseline uh, or entry level. Um, amount. Um, I think with a bit of tweaking and possibly a BIOS modification I might be able to get up to about 25 mega hashes um, but that's something I'll have to um, confirm as time goes on and of course I will do that in the future as well as. Uh, so the, yeah, the primary reason for buying these two cards was uh, the price like say £170 um, each um, and that's going to get me around about 20 mega hashes. Uh, on that sort of basis if you watch the uh, Polaris video update I also done a um, price comparison versus your hash rate and also done a power usage comparison uh, versus uh, your hash rate as well. So on the 8 gigabyte version of this uh, that would have cost £230 you would basically have been paying £9.20 for each mega hash of performance mining Ethereum. Uh, with this card that I've got here, uh, the price performance is really good. It comes down to £8.50 per mega hash of performance. So this is actually a more efficient card in terms of capital cost versus uh, mining performance. Uh, it's a little different on the actual power usage. So that on the 8 gigabyte version of this card or variation of this card, uh, the power usage was 6 watts uh, for, per mega hash and a total of 150 watts. Uh, with this card here um, at 20 mega hashes, I'm expecting to use um, 7.5 watts for every mega hash use, and also the uh, TDB of this card is 150 watts as well as so. Same, perform same power usage, sorry, but uh, with slightly less performance on these cards, um, I'm expecting out of the box. So there's a few other features as well. Uh, one of the other main reasons that I bought this card is that it actually has a blower fan design. Um, I wouldn't normally recommend that, so it's basically a tumbler fan, uh, and I'll, I'll show you on the actual unboxing, it'll make a lot more sense. But basically it has a tumble fan, and then it 
um, I don't know, kind of exhaust the fan or the hot air out of the actual back of the card or where your display ports are. So it's a slightly different design to some of the other fans that we would traditionally recommend that have like, you know, twin fans or something like that. But for my particular use case here um, in this actual workspace, it's going to be working uh, really well for me, I think. So that was one of the other reasons I chose this card. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, I think what I'll do now is a unboxing of the actual card. Uh, we'll take a look at it up close, and then from there we can actually fit it, install it, and then we can see the actual performance of this card.